Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Let me tell you about my new favorite camera accessory. The switch pod. No, it's not a Nintendo Switch mixed with an iPod. It's in fact a tripod that switches into a handle. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the switch pod. So right now you're actually on the switch pod, which makes it super easy for me to pick you up, fold the handle, go into a vlogging angle, talk to you like this, blah, 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 drop you down, put you down on the ground, and keep talking to you like this. The switch pod is basically a vlogger's dream. For me, the switch pod solves two major problems. It's a travel tripod and a vlogging handle in one. When you're out and about, you don't want to carry a big tripod around and then take the time to fold it out and then set your camera down. Not only do most tripods take a lot of space, but the, the time that it takes to fold them out just makes me go, mm. with the switch pod, all you have to do is flip the camera and then boom, you can put the camera down. Tell you what, even when I do have a tripod with me, I'll put one in the car, you know, I'll have it in the car all the time. It's there, it's ready. I still never use it. I, it's just too inconvenient. I never, I never, I very rarely take my tripod. Now with the switch pod, however, I'm constantly putting my camera down and getting these framed shots that are just so much fun. And I mentioned in my last video how I'm just addicted to making these shots now. It just makes the whole vlogging experience so much more fun. It makes the experience of vlogging feel less like taking a selfie with your phone and more like actual filmmaking. And you might argue that with regular tripods, you might get higher angles, which is true. I mean, the switch pod is like this tall. But again, like I told you, I'm not somebody who wants to bring out my tripod all the time. And the switch pod is so small and neat, you can put it down on any surface. So if you need that extra elevation, just put it on the table. The switch pod is so fast and convenient that I just whip it out all the time. Don't ever take that last line out of context, okay? <laughs> the switch pod also rocks as a vlog handle. Holding it at this distance with a 24 millimeter equivalent lens, it just feels right. It's not the widest lens in the world, so the extra reach makes it very good for me. I got my arm extended, it just feels very natural. And I can walk around with it like this, super simple. Yeah, you can tell I'm excited about the switch pod. I feel like this thing unleashed sort of like the creative in me. It just makes the whole experience of going out and filming so much more enjoyable and I can recommend the switch pod to anyone who frequently leaves their house with their gear and specifically if you're somebody who wants to minimize the size of your camera gear because check this out now I took the switch pod off here it is look how thin it is when it's completely folded down a lot of the times I would forget that this even is in my briefcase to make things even better if you don't have space in your backpack you can hang it on the outside because of these holes here now there is one main competitor to the switch pod which is the gorilla pod and I've gotten a Gorilla Pod in the past. I got the Gorilla Pod based on some very bad advice. Somebody who told me to get it over the Switch Pod. And now finally I've seen the light and I've switched over to the Switch Pod because the Gorilla Pod is just not nice for me. For those of you who don't know, the Gorilla Pod is one of those small tripods with all those balls that a lot of YouTube tubers use. That thing is just unwieldy and weird. Sure, it gives you more options of where to mount your camera. You could, you know, mount it onto a rail, but I wouldn't trust my camera to be mounted on an unsteady surface, whereas the switch pod is just basically guaranteed to be a steady uh, shot. Now, if you do happen to pick up the switch pod, I do recommend this ball head that uh, it, it is sold separately. I know it's a bit of a bummer, but this thing is awesome. I really like this. Without the ball head, the thing is unusable. So the ball head is essential. You gotta get it. Or just use a ball head that you already own. Hey, what do I know? If you're a camera photo guy, you probably have a bunch of these lying around, but I like, I like the specific switch pod ball head. This one is nice. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed me gushing over how much I like the switch pod. This is not a sponsored video, not a promotional video. I bought the whole thing for myself. I just used it while traveling and I've just fallen in love with it. So sharing that love, sharing my recommendation. Hey, even if you're just at home filming, you know, it's not, I can put you on a table here and just talk to you as a, you know, you don't have to have a fancy YouTube studio. You just put down the switch pod anywhere and you start talking. Easy as that. YouTube 101. YouTube 101. Talk in front of a camera. That's pretty much what every YouTuber does, right? And the switch pod makes talking to a camera that much easier. Mm. I'm John Bear. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.